Hi everyone. I want to talk about something that I, I uh, seen on Twitter by Emily Craig. She talked about how there's a lot of stuff going on underground than there is in outer space. And what I'm talking about is all this technology that the government and ETs are creating. See, back when President Eisenhower made a treaty with these ETs, he really wanted all this technology to be done in places underground. Now, I don't know exactly where all the locations are underground. I just know about the the states and countries they are in one particularly is canada the other one is mexico now the other states in the united states i'm not real sure of but the only one that i know of is around mexico and canada there's like underground bases there and i know that Area 51 has an underground base there as well. But like Emily Craig said, there's more going on underground than there actually is in outer space. Now, I'm sure people are aware of Corey Good and how Corey Good talks about once being a part of the secret space program. And I'm not denying the fact of there being a secret space program. I'm sure what Corey Good is saying is actually true, but as far as the secret space program being more advanced than what's going on underground, I think what's going on underground has more advanced technology than what's going on in outer space. And I just want people to be aware of that. I just want people to realize, yes, there is more technology, more advanced technology being created underground. I wish that a lot of the conspiracy theorists would talk more about that because I believe what Emily Craig is talking about is actually true. And I just want people to know the truth. I want people to do their research, ask questions, you know, go on Twitter and ask some of these conspiracy theorists on what's really going on. People like Stephen Greer, people like Emily Craig, ask them questions because I'm sure they'll tweet you back and answer your hard questions because I'm always tweeting Emily Craig and she never fails to send me a reply. She's always telling me things that she's done her research on. And by me tweeting her and her answering me has really educated me some about what's really going on on our planet. And not just on our planet, but all across the universe with the ETs, with our military, with our government, with all the corruption that goes on on this planet. She's really educating me on situations like that. Uh, how do you say it? The Town Nine Treaty. You know, the Town Nine Treaty was created when Eisenhower made a treaty with the ETs. But see, what you got to understand is if you look at what Mike Casella has to say about the treaties that Eisenhower made with the ETs, you'll see that these ETs were basically lying to Eisenhower. But see, Eisenhower, in his mind, he was thinking, oh, I'm going to get technology from these ETs. That's going to be such a great thing. But... What ended up happening is the ETs lied to Eisenhower and then they started abducting humans and never returning these humans back to their homes 
or back to their families, they never return. And I believe what's happening is these ETs are abducting these humans and sending them underground as meat. I mean, let's face it. You hear it from David Icke where he talks about, e uh, not e well, they are ETs, but he talks about the reptilians, the Dracone reptilians and how they eat human flesh. And I believe that's what's going on. These ETs are abducting humans and then sending them underground where the reptilians are. And what happens is these reptilians end up eating their flesh and killing them. Now, I know this is disturbing and that Instagram is probably going to get rid of this video and pro quite possibly ban my account. But... You know, I just want people to realize just how serious this stuff is. I mean, this ain't nothing to play around with. We need to wake people up, and we need to wake our government up. I don't even know if Trump even realizes what's really going on. I hope he does. I hope that he's been briefed on this, but knowing the CIA, the CIA, they probably haven't briefed Donald Trump on things like this because if there's one thing you've got to understand is there's a lot of corruption going on within the CIA. And, you know, the CIA has committed criminal activity. And so, of course, they're not going to go and say, oh, President Trump, there's reptilians eating him in flesh, and we think you ought to know about it. Well, I'm telling you folks, the CIA ain't going to tell the president every little thing that's going on that's a cover-up, because the CIA is involved in criminal activity as well. So if they was to tell the president stuff like that, then that would mean them telling on their self. And if there's one thing about it, they're not about to expose the criminal activity that they've done. Because a lot of the CIA is involved in a lot of treaties that are made with other criminal people that commit crimes. You know, you got a lot of human trafficking going on. And I'm quite sure that the CIA is in cahoots with all the human trafficking that's going on. I mean, there's a lot of criminal activity that are going on because people are making deals and, and making treaties with people. You know, a lot of these countries that we make treaties with and do trade with, we're all... Well, not us, but all the governments are making deals, making treaties, and it, and they're basically involved in criminal activity. We're like slaves, people. That's basically what it all sums up to. We're like slaves. We're always staying glued to the television. You know, the guy is constantly looking at the news media because what the news media is doing is they're sowing that seed of fear into our minds, controlling our minds, controlling our emotions, getting us all upset and causing us to live in fear all the time, worrying about things when, when instead of worrying about things and living in fear, we've got to search deep within our hearts. We got to take up the time to meditate and calm our minds and calm our spirits and calm our hearts. But you're never going to calm your minds. You're never going to calm your hearts. You're never going to calm your spirit as long as you're staying glued to that television watching the news media. The news media are going to lie to you folks. Just wake up to the simple fact that the news media is controlled by the CIA. The CIA is always telling the news media, what to report and what not to report. 
The CIA constantly wants the news media sowing that seed of fear into every one of our minds, constantly having us living in fear, constantly getting upset, and just being all worked up about stuff that's not even true. You know, they're lying to us. They're just doing all this for ratings because they know people are addicted to drama. I'm going to just say it like it is. People are addicted to drama. That's why families are so dysfunctional because they're constantly keeping drama going on in their family. You know, I try to stay far away as, as I can from a bunch of drama because I'm not going to be around drama and have all these people that are doing this drama to drain the energy from my myself. I'm not going to have people stealing my energy. I'm not going to have people messing up my mind mentally and messing up my spirit spiritually and causing me to be in an emotional wreck. I'm not going to let people do that to me. I'm like, you're not going to have that much power over me. You might like to have that kind of power over me, but I'm not going to allow that. You're going to give me space. You're going to not treat me like that because there's boundaries there i have boundaries and you're not going to cross those boundaries you're not going to cross that line i don't care if they're my parents my brother my sister my aunt my uncle my my cousins people even in my family are not going to cross that boundary line and, and take my energy and miss my mind up miss my spirit up I'm not going to allow people to think they got to get in the last word and start talking over me and not listen to reason of what I got to say. They're not going to cross that line. I'm not going to let them do that. Because when you start letting people cross those boundaries and cross that line, they're going to start affecting you mentally and spiritually. That's the reason why you got so many people on this planet with spiritual trauma. It's like they can't get through all the spiritual trauma that they put up with, with their family. And I'm going to say it. A lot of family members has caused people to have spiritual trauma. It may have been the way you was brought up as a kid you know they might have pounded you over the head with the bible and and making you feel like uh you're just this worthless person that you're no good to god and 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 you must live this way to make it to heaven and and you're like wanting this wanting to just fit in wanting to just be a normal person just wanting to uh, reach your highest potential. And it's like, if you don't belong to a certain religion that you're not part of God's family or that you're rejecting God and, and, and because you're rejecting God, you're gonna die and go to hell. I just don't like the fact that people in the Christian faith and the Jewish faith and the Catholic faith make people feel this way. I just don't believe that that's how God works. I believe God works in ways that a lot of people don't understand quite yet because I look at it this way. I don't care what religion you belong to. I don't care if you're a Christian. I don't care if you're a Jewish person. I don't care if you're a Catholic person. I don't care if you're a Buddhist, a Hindu, a New Age. I don't care what religion you belong to because what we've got to realize is it ain't religion that we're at war with. What we're really at war with is evil. And I think so many times the evil forces get people distracted. I believe that the evil forces get Christian people distracted. They get 
Jewish people distracted. They get the Catholic people distracted. They get all these people distracted on what we're really at war with because evil forces don't want you to realize that we're at war with them. They just want every religion at war with each other because you constantly see it. You know, you constantly see each religious system fighting other religions. And it just seems like Christians think in their mind, and the Jewish people too, it's both of them. They both think in their mind that it's religion that we're at war with, that because a certain religion believes a certain way that we're at war with them, that these kind of people are trying to turn people from the faith of believing in God and believing in Jesus Christ. And, and the thing is, Christians may not even understand how a Buddhist religion is or how a Hindu religion is or how a New Age religion is. Christians may not understand it. Jewish people may not understand it. But just because you don't understand something doesn't give you a right to point fingers at them and judge them and say, you're going to hell because you don't believe in the God that I serve. You're going to hell because you want to accept Jesus Christ into your life. I mean, that doesn't give us the right to do that to all these other religions. Because I look at it this way. As long as a Buddhist or Hindu or a New Age person, as long as they're not inflicting pain, inflicting suffering, inflicting war and chaos, as long as they're not doing any of those things, causing harm to people and doing evil towards other people, as long as they're not doing that and they're actually trying to spread love, peace and harmony, if they're out there trying to actually help the human race, we shouldn't be pointing fingers at, as a Christian and saying horrendous things like you're going to hell or, or uh, just pointing fingers and judging them, just being judgmental towards them. Because, you know, I really believe this too. I believe that's the reason why we go to war with the Muslims, because I believe the Muslims is like an occult. And I know I'm probably going to get in trouble with a lot of Muslim people, but I'm not trying to spread hate towards the Muslims. So I don't want people on Instagram, and I don't even want Instagram to think that I'm trying to hate on Muslims because I'm not. I love Muslim people. That's the reason why I'm trying to wake the Muslim people up. But the Muslim religion is like an occult. And, and if there's a religion that I am against, that's the Satanists. Because the Satanist people are the ones that want to inflict pain and suffering. They want to inflict war and chaos. They want to do evil towards people. And another thing that I'm against is black magic, witchcraft, and, and uh, voodoo. Anything where somebody is trying to cast a spell on somebody and cause harm to them and do evil towards them, I'm totally against that because that's evil, that's dark, and you shouldn't treat the human race like it. We need to spread love. We need to spread compassion. We don't need to be doing evil towards one another. And when we're, when the Jewish people and the Christian people are being killed by people like ISIS, you know, it's an ideology that people like ISIS believe in. They actually think they're doing something good when they kill Christians or when they kill Jewish people because it's what they've been taught. It's an ideology that they believe in. And we got to wake up the Muslim people because we love them and we want them to know the truth. 
because this is an occult. What the people of Isis and Ben Laden believe in is nothing more than a cult. Anything where you're inflicting pain and suffering and killing each other, that's an occult. That's an evil act. And it needs to be called out. It needs to be addressed. And that's what I want people to realize. See, the church has got to realize anybody that's doing evil towards another person, that's evil. And evil is what we're at war with. It's not religion. It's evil that we're at war with. It's like the Apostle Paul said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but the forces of darkness. We wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle against principalities. You know, you got people in government that do evil things towards other people. You've got some ETs that Eisenhower did treaties with. You know, the treaty that Eisenhower did with the ETs, these ETs were evil. They were lying to people. Because when you're doing all these abductions and then you take their bodies and ship them off underground where the reptilians are and then the reptilians eat their flesh, that's evil. That's just pure evil. And that's what these ETs are. They're evil people. Now, I want people to understand this, though. Demons and aliens are two different things. I know I see a lot of people on social media are saying that demons are aliens and aliens are demons. They're not the same thing because... It's like Emily Craig said, because I was talking about this one time. Demons are a disembodied spirit, which means demons don't have a body. Now, however, aliens do have a body. Greys have a body. Reptilians have a body. Pleiadians have a body. And, and they're just different. Like when you see a demonic spirit possess a person, what that demonic spirit is doing is trying to control that person's body and trying to cause them to not eat, not sleep, and just dwell in their body and just wreak habit. But they do that because they're a disembodied spirit. They can't even jump into an animal and cause an animal to be possessed. That's what they do. They look for bodies to possess and then a priest, a Catholic priest has to come down and get that demonic spirit out of that person's body. They do that because demons are a disembodied spirit. They have no body. They're an unimbalanced energy that possesses people's body. So when you see people saying that demons and Aliens are the same thing. That's not true. That's people that don't know their Bible and just don't plain out know what they're talking about. They're not educated. They think they got it all figured out and they don't know what they think they know. They're making things up that's just not actually true. And I don't listen to those kind of comments because I know they're not true. But like I said, demons don't have bodies. ETs do. You listen to people like Stephen Greer. He's always talking about how they got an arm, a torso, a chest, a stomach, a head, nose, mouth, ears. They have that. That's a body. That's an ET that has a body. Demons don't have ears or eyes or mouth or arms or shoulders or torso. Demons don't have body parts. They're they're disembodied spirit. That's all they are. They're just an unimbalanced spirit that has no body. So people, all y'all people out there trying to say aliens or demons, don't be spreading disinformation like that because you even know yourself that is not true. Because if you read your Bible, and you read about how Noah 
was seeing all these demonic spirits roaming around the earth of where he was at, you will clearly see what God did about that situation. God basically took those demonic spirits, cast them into hell in a prison so they wouldn't be roaming the earth where Noah was at that time. Read your Bible and you will see that. You know, these demons were not in, o, in no UFO. These demons were not aliens. These demons were just basically disembodied spirits tormenting people in Noah's days. That's all they were, disembodied spirits. So don't be listening to people that say aliens are demons because they're two different things. They're not in the same category. I don't know why people say that. That's so unintelligent. But that's what I had to say about the whole thing. I hope you have a good day or a good night wherever you are. Thanks.